We're famous for our water from our rain to our rivers. But our river systems are surprisingly unique. There are around 200 chalk streams like this in the whole world. 85% of those are right here in the UK. Clean, pure water that bubbles up from chalk springs deep underground. It's hard to believe that a pristine, free-flowing river like this could have problems. But it does. It's running dry. And it could disappear. Despite news reports of heavy rains and flooded streets, we're also experiencing hotter, drier summers, and our water use is rising. We don't have as much water as we think. England could run short within 25 years. I'm meeting Dr. Janina Gray, a scientist studying the pressure our rivers are under. I don't think many people in the UK realise how privileged we are to have these unique ecosystems. They're the veins that run through our countryside and our cities, and I think everybody is actually not too far away from their local river. Chalk streams run across the south and east of England, from Dorset and then forming kind of crescent around London, up into East Anglia and then into Yorkshire. Because of the fact that they're spring-fed, the water comes out at a really constant temperature, it's very clear, and the things that make it great for nature, unfortunately, also make it really good for public water supply, the water we're using in our homes. We're monitoring our chalk streams, and the river flow levels are dropping, and the rivers are in decline. Firstly, because of us, we're taking too much water out of them, and secondly, because of climate change. And that means that the aquifer underground that powers the chalk streams can't recharge. Chalk streams are our coral reefs or our rainforests. They're that internationally important and rare. And I think people don't really realise the pressure that they're under. Janina is one voice in a growing movement of individuals and organisations who are helping us prepare for a drier future. For instance, Finnish is announcing a partnership with WWF, conserving and improving rivers and wetlands for future generations. The project in East Anglia will seek to create and restore new ponds, re-wet reed beds, restore bogs, and reinstate modified rivers to enhance UK nature and precious water supplies. And of course, we can all help at home by reducing shower time and turning off the tap when brushing our teeth. And fixing leaks, a dripping tap can waste up to five and a half thousand litres of water a year and a leaking toilet up to 400 litres a day. And we can save 6,800 litres a year by using a dishwasher rather than hand washing, and another 1,000 litres a year by not pre-rinsing the dishes. Every drop of water we save is one more drop for a river like this, and rivers all across our country.